if a is a positive integer greater than 1, which of the following could be a prime number? You know, this word makes this problem a lot easier than some of the other ones that you might see, because could is very open-ended. Most of the time, this kind of thing would say must, okay, must be a prime number. But the conditions on the problem are pretty open-ended, too a is a positive integer greater than 1. There really wouldn't be anything wrong then with me suggesting to myself that a was equal to 2 and seeing what happens. Which of these will give me a prime number when a is equal to 2? Say anything else, let us remind ourselves for everybody that could be watching this video what a prime number is. Okay, let me write out a few examples of prime numbers. I'm going to write out the first several. Prime numbers are numbers like 2, 3, 5, 7, uh, 11, 13, so on and so forth. Notice that 1 is not in this list. It looks like a list of odd numbers, but it's not because 2 is in here. That's right? So let's remind ourselves what prime numbers are, which is... Prime numbers are numbers whose only divisors are 1 and itself. There's no numbers that divide evenly into 11. I shouldn't say evenly, I should say uh, wholly, okay, that divide into 11 besides 11 and 1. You can do 11 divided by 1, and you can do 11 divided by 11. In each case, you get an integer, you get a whole number, okay? The same goes for 2. All right, the same goes for 2. You can't divide anything into 2, I mean, partly because it's so small, but also because dividing by, well, you know, dividing by anything other than 1 and itself would be dividing by a decimal number like 1.5, and that doesn't count for purposes of prime numbers. So those are your prime numbers, and 2 is the only even one. All right, 2 is the only even prime number. Now let's go back here and let's see if any of these options when a equals 2 gets, gets us something in this list, okay? If a equals 2, then 2a is equal to 4. 2a plus 1 is equal to 4 plus 1, which is 5. And there, there's our guy. Okay, we've got a prime number from plugging in a random number greater than 1 and Given the nature of this problem, there really wouldn't be a reason to go any further with this. Okay, you are pretty much done. It simply said could be a prime number, not must be a prime number. All right, that is definitely the answer. Although just for completion's sake, 2 times 2 plus 4 will be 8. Not a prime number, not on my list. 2 times a plus 6 will be 4 plus 6, which is 10, also not on my list. And 2 times 2 plus 8 is going to be 12, which is also not on my list, okay? We'll just say one more thing about these numbers that have appeared here. All of them are even except for 5. Remember, I said 2 is the only even prime number. Well, think about it, okay? An even number would have to be divisible by 2 and a whole number have uh, be the result, right? See what I mean? So no even numbers besides the smallest one would be able to be a prime number. And you can tell by looking at these, okay, even without plugging in these numbers, you can sort of tell that this is going to be an even number because it's two times a number. You can tell that this is going to be an even number because it's two times a number plus another even number. And this one is the same thing, and this one is the same thing. You may recall from one of my videos, or just in general, that an even number plus an even number is always an even number. Okay? However, an even number plus an odd number is always an odd number. And guess what? Although it's not true that all odd numbers are prime numbers, it is true that all prime numbers are odd numbers except for 2, okay? But we're past 2, all right? Clearly, we've picked the smallest number within the constraints of the problem, 2, an integer greater than 1, and plugged it in, and the smallest number we got is 5. So 
2 is not in question. This is an even number plus an odd number, 1. So it certainly could be a prime number. Okay, It could be a prime number. It doesn't have to be, though. There are other odd numbers that are not prime numbers. Um, 77 comes to mind. Okay, 77 is actually 7 times 11. It would be divisible by both of those, both of which are prime, but this number itself, very odd, but also not prime.